Hello there guys, so today we'll be seeing how to deploy, you know, the best way to deploy a static website on the internet. So uh, I found, uh, like, I found this website called Versal.com. Formerly it was known as Zeet, Z-E-I-T.co. And uh, today I'll, uh, like, teach you how to, you know, it's, it's a very seamless experience to deploy a static website to, on the web. And uh, I'll show you how to deploy it. So this is the website. I've deployed many of my sites on uh, this website. And uh, uh, yeah, I've uh, deployed many sites. So, and it works like, you know, it works very, very, uh, very great. I don't know about SEO, but I, I guess there is uh, something about SEO as well in the, in the docs. I'll put the uh, documentation link as well in the... Uh, description and please have a look at it so uh, let's start okay uh, Studio. so I've been uh, for many days I've been using this uh, thing called WSL Windows subsystem for Linux so it's a great thing which uh, you know you can uh, install Ubuntu on Windows and it can be integrated easily you don't have to uh, keep it on a separate partition or anything else you uh, you can use it directly so ws windows subsystem linux was like really uh, yeah a great it's a really a great software let's uh, okay let's start uh, so i uh, store all my you know my websites here i have uh, created this sample folder let's open it All right. Uh, so let's add a file index.html. Mm, let's give it anything like you know HTML, HTML. Uh, yeah, some shit like you no. Know, hello, I am using Versil. Okay, so this is basic, uh, you know, a sample HTML file. Now I want to deploy this on Versal so it will be available to everyone. So what I'll do is I'll uh, open my Ubuntu. Yeah, this is this is WSL thing I was talking about. I installed Ubuntu. I installed uh, and I'm using uh, uh, on WSL and then I'm running, you know, my Ubuntu machine as well on a windows computer so it's great so you get the best of both worlds all right so now what we'll be doing is uh, so I, I save all my files in this uh, mount points mnt slash d because uh, these folders are quite you know this is the folder which we are talking about this is the d folder to so the d drive so i save all my github uh, github uh, sites uh, my websites my work on uh, in this in this folder because these are uh, folders shared between windows and linux so you have a you know you know of convenience as well as well as flexibility all right so so what we'll be doing now is uh, getting into the sample folder So I just created a sim link between this HTML folder and the Apache server in my WSL. So even if I uh, make things here, I will, uh, my websites or anything else, I'll eventually see it in the local host on my Windows machine, even though the Apache server is running on the WSL, Windows subsystem for Linux. All right. So what we'll be doing is actually, uh, we have to do just one command and everything's, you know, deployed. So and that one command is the name itself this is such a seamless experience this is such a you know uh, a godly experience to deploy like things uh, because previously i used to uh, use github to uh, deploy my static website but this is uh, this is like a class apart as well No, there's no such website or project sample. Let's give it sample. Yeah, it's in the root root top level. Yeah. 
All right. Okay, no framework. I didn't use any framework at, at all. Uh, it expects in the output directory, but I guess this will work. Yeah, yeah, I've tried many times, so it will work. So I don't want to override any settings. So yeah, now it's deploying. So it create two files, dot .versal and dot .git ignore. Git ignore is useful when you want to, uh, you know, ignore some generated generated files or unwanted files when you yeah so it's yeah so it's deployed and uh yeah so you can use versal uh prod when uh you need when you're using uh when you have bought a domain from a dns like you know from a domain service you have brought domains uh from there and if you have added it in the versal application you know versal website then if when you do versal uh dash dash prod it directly uh, puts in the, it to the connects it to the domain name so yeah so that's the one command so let's see so let's see if the thing we have done till now is deployed or not all right so yeah so it's product okay all right hello i'm using so yeah so done like this is very 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 simple thing to uh, and if you want uh, and you have to want to deploy any websites just uh, static websites you know even react js websites you can deploy and connect it with the backend like you know mongodb atlas or such you can easily deploy that and uh, uh, if you are a single developer like me you usually want to uh, avoid too much uh, too much uh, time in deployment because you want to uh, because there are not many people to handle your uh, you know you know the process so it gets a little uh, let's it gets a little little too tiring so usually uh, deploy your front end on a site like versal and uh, get a back end like mongodb atlas or you know uh, or store your back end on aws and connect it to the front end in versal that will be a great thing to do and uh, uh, this uh, deploying here makes things a little bit more cheap cheaper so the solution becomes cheaper a lot otherwise you need to spend large amounts of money on uh, cloud servers so instead of using cloud servers for like just use cloud servers for storage and uh, use this front end uh, deployment applications and you'll be a good ass programmer so yeah guys i guess uh, goodbye and uh, we will meet soon i'll be posting more videos from now on so to get me myself out of a boredom position yeah thanks